This is a wicker bill. It's a three-piece wicker bill for an RT to go on the stock RT spoiler in the back. See how it comes in separate pieces because the RT has a three-piece spoiler. So it's all one color. Um, I got it specifically with the red trim. Um, it's from KNG Wraps. You can find them on Instagram. And I also got the uh, the red and black screws that are uh, that are going to mount on there to go with the whole color theme. I'm going to get this mounted and I'll show you. What's up YouTube? I am uh, having my friend Joel come over. He's gonna help me put on this new wicker bill. So we just pretty much just have to have to uh, drill the holes in the, the spoiler right here. All right, you wanna drill? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's your car. No. <laughs> You've done this a lot more than me. It's your car. <laughs> so we got the holes marked. I'm, I'm recording this. I'm yeah, I know. So we put this up. We got holes marked where we're going to drill the holes. So yeah. We're going to tap those in now. Yep. Make sure you uh, measure like three, four, five, six times before you drill your holes. Because once you um, once you drill into it, you're committed. And once you do that and if things don't fit right, it's you're screwed. fucked. And then you either got to get a new piece or bring it to the body shop and bring it to someone like me to fix it, fix yeah. your mistake. So measure a bunch of times before you uh, drill or cut. So you're also going perpendicular with yeah. the angle. Yeah. And go slow. Yeah, you definitely don't want to poke through and come through the top. Yeah. Or scratch your paint somewhere else. Right. Right. Alright. All right. So we've done. We've test fitted this piece a bunch of times and for what the uh, for the piece um, we had to actually shave off some of the yeah. piece, you know, because it, it didn't fit quite right. Um, from from uh, the factory. From the factory. Yeah, so I'll um, show you when we get this on what we're talking about. Yeah, we had to modify it. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better. It's than got it a lot better than it was. Yeah. yeah. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the screws and the washers, color coded. No, I you know what? Yeah, I think we should put it on. Yeah, let's put it on. Yeah. And now we could have... Uh, you don't want to over tighten these. You'll strip the fiberglass. Yeah. So. yeah, don't tighten them all down either. Get all your holes uh, situated, you know, screw them down and then come back in and make your final torque. Because there is some play. They cut the holes bigger than the, the screw width, so you, there's a little play back and forth. See, this is the fitment. Yeah, we so here's about. what we were talking about. See how it's kind of smooth all the way along here, and then all of a sudden there's a gap right there. Yeah. So we tried to shave this down a little bit, but you can't shave it down too much because you'll get close to the hole. Exactly. This one's like it too, but it's not quite as as uh, pronounced as that one is. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, that's just, you know, that's it's a improper. Lot better than it was it's better than it was, yeah, but it's just, uh, it's not very, very good machining from, yeah, exactly. the, from the factory. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we're going to put on the edge pieces. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They go like that. Forms good, too. So. 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. No, no, so there is little gaps here. Mm -hmm. But again, that's kind of where the... Oh, you're going to have to keep that clean. It's easy um, enough where you could screw, unscrew it, you know, every now and then. Or maybe put like a garden hose and, you know. Yeah, just squirt it yeah, out. Squirt it yep. out, exactly. All right, so we're going to put this edge piece on now. Um, it's like a seesaw. All right, so right there. Okay, I'm pulling it down and putting it on. Okay. Looks really cool, Scott. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely get one for mine. Yep, it's not going in or out. Mm -hmm. Top to bottom, so that's good. Yep. Alright. So there's the finished product. You have the gap there. So that's pretty much it. Really not that hard to put on. Not at all. I'd recommend having a second person with you. Yeah, you definitely need I I agree. I think it you definitely need two people to hold it steady yeah. and yeah. get the uh get everything lined up right. Mm -hmm. So I'm I mean I'm pretty happy with it. I look a little bit disappointed just with the craftsmanship there of not getting that uh that line right. Yeah. But not quite as bad on this side and we tried to shave it down a little bit but it's still yeah because it's still too much you're going into the right yep. all right that's it guys thanks to joel peace see you next time everybody